Today I'll be taking you guys through my new personal chest workout. But before that, let me teach you how to properly get ready before the gym with your pre-workout stack. So you're gonna take a few ingredients, all by Gorilla Mind. Go to gorillamind.com, use code Jesse, save yourself money, it means the world to me, and also keeps all of my channels alive. So we're gonna do a hyperhydration. This stuff, basically, it helps pump and it helps hydrate you. I pretty much just do one scoop every single day with my pre-workout. I'll do two scoops of the non-stim. Now the reason I'm doing the non-stim is because I have caffeine throughout the day. I sort of like to, I'm gonna sneeze. I just inhaled it. <coughs> this is probably the best pump formula that there is on the market. It is packed. It is, I think it's $55 or something among those lines but that is because it has the most ingredients packed into it, so it is well worth your money, but that's why you're gonna use Code Jesse to save money, so then it actually ends up being like, I don't know, 50, $49, something like that. And then every single morning, you're gonna start your day with a hydration packet. Again, this is a Gorilla One. This is just like a very efficacious clinical dose. So I have this basically in the morning, a few hours later, I have all this. Shake that bad boy up, and then we will go smash some chesticles. The cats, they come down here and play. This is like their playroom. Here we have a gate, a little baby gate to keep them out while we work out sometimes because they just want love during sets. It's so funny. Exercise number one is going to be a Smith Machine bench press. We are going to toss this bad boy up and we're gonna see how it feels. Most of the time when you first put your bench press in, you're probably gonna put it in the wrong position. Like me, you can never ever figure out the proper spot for it. I literally will move this like 17 times until I get it right. And I have, I don't want to say it's OCD, but I'm very particular on being even and having my left side and right side perfectly even. So if I move this an inch and it feels off, like it just bothers me. I don't know about you guys, but. So right here, honestly, this is a really deep stretch. Now, one thing that Mike Isretel taught me was that the upper pec, he kind of likes to stretch it a little higher compared to being here, more of a power lifter. So we're gonna let the bar be a little bit above our nipple, but below our collarbone, so we get a good deep stretch and press and squeeze. Luckily, the bench is in the right spot. I got all warmed up. Make sure you guys hit your warm-up sets. Don't rush them. Take your time, go by 10, five, whatever, until you got a little bit like a mini pump. That's when you put on the heavier weight. Lately, I've noticed that I've kind of been ego lifting a little too much. I do believe that ego lifting can help you progress a little bit better if you're in a plateau. Not like massive ego lifting, but just a little bit of, a little bit of momentum, you know? But this week, I promised myself I was gonna go a little lighter just because I feel like I'm going a little bit too crazy with the heavy weights and I need to just feel it more, make sure I'm getting sore, get the contraction, get a good pump rather than just trying to throw heavy weight. I'm gonna hit this. We're gonna do three sets and I'm gonna go to ultimate failure, Mike Mentor style. Literally until my arms feel like they're gonna explode. <laughs> I told you I was going to failure. Thank God it's a Smith machine. If this was a barbell, I'd be, I wouldn't be talking right now. I would just be like, I used to train and do like 20 to 40 sets per workout twice a week for the same exact muscle group. So chest, I would hit 40 sets a week, insane number. Now I would say I'm about 20 to 24 sets a week, max. Honestly, it's probably a little bit less, but I've trained with much more intensity, especially when I train with guys like Hani Rambod, Mike Isretel, and just anyone that trains actually hard. Anthony Mantello trains crazy. It's one of those things that you realize you weren't training as hard as you could until you train with someone else that trains harder than you. Pretty crazy, these, uh superhero shirts make me feel so much bigger and so much more massive. It's almost like you guys have to use code Jesse because they're on sale. Oh my God. Woo! 
One of the most underrated things is that in between sets, you can sort of flex your muscle and practice that mind muscle connection and be tapping that exact spot where you want to target on your next set. Feel where you're trying to hit. For me, I'm getting the upper chest, so I'm just going to sit here, tap, contract, practice the movement, and then I hit it, and it's going to feel so much better. Flip machine bench press is all finished up. We're going to move on to some dumbbells, so let's hit it. I want to do the hundreds, but like I said, I'm trying to go a little lighter and like not think about the weight too much. So I'm going to take the 90s, and we're going to see if they're light or heavy today. <clears throat> Chest up, big arch, squeeze. We have to go even lighter. It's weird, if you really focus on having proper form, the amount of weight you're gonna do less of, wild. You're gonna feel like your ego shattered, but you have, you have to listen to your body that that is right. So I'm gonna do 80s now. Key thing right here when I'm about to go down, track that back, keep tight, then go back. Push back with your heels, drive your heels into the ground, that way your back is nice and put into the bench. You should not be able to move. And you know what's funny? As I'm trying to give you advice, I'm using two different weights. I have an 80 and an 85. Bench press, we're gonna move on. Some cables. So we're gonna do a mid to low cable fly, focusing on the upper chest. Basically, what I was doing in between sets, going like this and feeling my chest, we're doing that with weight now. Super simple. <clears throat> when I hit failure, I drop to my knees, major pause, and I just press. I think it's time, boys. It's time for tarps off. You guys know the saying, tarps off for the boys. Well, listen, there's like 9% girls out there watching this. Oh my God. Mm. Ah. Holy sh Guys, comment below. Should I grow out the chest hair? Like I'm going in complete bear mode right now. I feel like Henry Cavill. That's what I feel like right now. Okay, we got one more set. And this is where it really counts. You gotta make sure you stay focused. Do your reps, do your sets, and get results, baby. Seriously. I might joke around, but I do train hard. So let's get it, last set. Last exercise, we're gonna do a dumbbell fly. Honestly, this is a very, very basic chest workout. But to be honest, basic works. You don't need fancy exercises, doing one arm weird freaking windmill things, dancing around in the gym. Literally, bench, fly, extend, curl. Like, it's all so simple. Drill those, do them as much as you can, and go hard and progress on them. Last thing, dumbbell flies. And then that's it for the chest workout. But we do have triceps. Tries for the guys. So with being bulked up for the past six months, I feel tremendously better. My energy level's higher. My testosterone feels like it's through the roof. When I was getting ready for my show, you know, I was depleting myself. The pumps were so small. The posing looked better, but I felt horrible. Now I have a really good balance of, in my opinion, I think I look great. Like I'm happy with how I look. I don't have too much body fat, but I'm lean enough also. And when I'm hitting poses, it feels good. Like I look good, but I also feel good. And that's such a good balance to have. And I'm excited because all this muscle that I'm gonna be gaining right now and for the next few months of finishing up this bulk, it's gonna pay off in the end for the next cut. I have a really, really big thing planned, probably around like, well, I'll tell you, you'll, you'll know when it comes. I won't tell you yet, but I have a very big plan for my next diet down and maybe competition. And I'm really excited to just get ready and right now is the preparation for it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've made it this far, comment down below dubs because we are on the last exercise. Dumbbell French press over the head. Don't let your elbows go too far out. Keep them tight. Press.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's my chest and tricep workout. If you guys need a program, jessejamesweiss.com. We got you covered. I just dropped a brand new program. It already has the progression of the reps and the sets and everything built in. Super easy to follow on a Google spreadsheet. You literally just take it, click file, make a copy. Boom, you have your own thing. You can plug in all your numbers, keep track of your workouts. So check it out, jessejamesweiss.com. Otherwise, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. You're part of the Relentless Society, and I appreciate it. Don't forget to stay in love. Peace.